Hello, uh, we left off on this screen on the last video. So we're gonna click authorize app and it should come back into our uh, Twitter controller and authorize action. So it's just gonna hit here, it's gonna give us two values, a token and a verifier. So the only one that is required by Twitter, if you see this link, and they do need the token and the verifier so for some reason uh, let me show you the authenticator for rest sharp is asking for the token secret but we don't have that and at least on MVC everything's stateless so we don't have access to it the only time we have access is when we actually request down here this is the only place where we can have access to this value um, and it doesn't make sense to pass it on to the next one so I was wondering why is it asking but anyways I tried it without it and it does work so as you can see here even though it's mapped to this guy uh, it's over here you probably just can pass an empty string like I'm doing so as you can see here it's just an empty string here okay so once I hit authorize it should come back to our controller you, as you can see it's calling our Twitter controller we got a authorization token and a verifier so these values will will keep changing every time you call is they're not gonna stay the same so I'm gonna skip this through and if we, if this is working correctly we should get the screen name um, right now I'm just returning as you can see in this API uh, sc return screen name I'm returning a string so this is just for tutorials so, but the idea is that on your database you should save the details your token your secret the ID the screen and I'm not sure if you need this expires value but just to see if it works we should go we should get the screen name and then we're gonna redirect the user to this welcome index with the result so I'm gonna click continue and now let's wait okay so as you can see it worked we have now a token the secret uh, and we have the screen name and also the ID so as you can see on the screen, we have the screen name. So that's my Twitter screen name, Cafe SP. And on the URL, you can see that that's how I'm passing it to this controller, to the home controller welcome index. So this is up to you how you customize this. But the point was to prove that we can request a token and finish off by asking permissions and get a token. So now we can make uh, actual create tweets from our app in this case the MVC app and I want to show you this guy too as you can see I left it on for a while now so it's been running forever but as you can see the calls have come in uh, the welcome the Twitter authentication and then as we got a 302 and then we were redirected to to the home welcome so this is how this guy works, it's nice. And now, on the next video, I'm gonna work on how we can actually do that tweet. So I'm gonna pause to, uh, Mr. Studio and go over this uh, code, basically. It's pretty much the same. The top line, the client is the same. The only thing we're gonna change is the resource that we're calling, uh, same post. Uh, the authenticator that we're using now is different the other one was as you can see for request token this one is for access token and it takes different almost the same thing uh, the arguments and the same thing here if it's okay that means you know Twitter accepted it and we're using the same utility grabbing the values as you can see here I'm not saving it to a database yet but that's a to-do thing on your side so that's it pretty much so as you can see a few lines of code you can get the permission from the user 
to get access so remember this code is going to be on github uh, the link is going to be on the description where you can get it okay so thank you for watching